going on guys? It's time for another winner bin here in NHL 23. Winner bins are when I hop into an online game and put a card on the line that you guys choose. Today's card is going to be my captain and favorite player, team of the season, Dylan Larkin. Here he is, he's on my first line. I'm using him with McDavid and Lemieux and here is the rest of my squad. It's looking pretty solid. I am transitioning to an all wings team. You see I have Cider now, so a lot of wings are on the team now. And in net, I still have team of the season, Jake Ottinger. Now, hopefully EA releases more Red Wing cards in the future so I can easily make a better team of all Red Wings. That being said, for the next episode of Win or Bin, make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know who you want to see on the line. Last episode was Connor McDavid, this episode is Dylan Larkin, but anyone you see here can be on the line in the next episode. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into a game of Rivals. If I win, Dylan Larkin stays on my team. If I lose, I have to quick sell him and I'm not allowed to use him on my team the rest of the year. Now guys, I'm in Division 1 and this is my first game of Rivals on the week. Got my champs collectible and now let's go ahead and hop into a game of Rivals and hopefully get the W. Now unfortunately, because it is Burst, it's actually going to be even harder for me here. If I go down early in the game, odds are it's going to be harder for me to come back in the game because the periods are so short. I don't know how long it'll take for me to find the game, but we'll keep searching and, and eventually we'll find one, I hope. Ah yes, as expected. Failed to find an opponent. Great! Six and a half hours later. All right, we have a game. We're playing a lot of buckets. Xbox player should be a lot of fun. Let's do this. All right, guys. Wish me luck. Dylan Larkin on the line. I need him to stay on the team. He's my favorite player in the NHL. He's my captain. Come on, man. I just gotta, I just gotta get the dub. It's gotta get the dub. Lemieux up to Larkin. Larkin. Oh man, he almost busted through there for a breakaway. That would have been nice. Oh no, Gretzky. Stops up. McKinnon. Ah. <laughs> the games are so much more intense like this, I swear. All right, here we go. Larkin on a breakaway on the backhand. Scores! Dylan Larkin! He doesn't want to go anywhere. We have a 1-0 lead here in the first period. Larkin gets the goal. Pretty sure I have Born Leader on him too. So yeah, I could actually keep that first line out here. That's great. Born Leader's got to be one of my favorite abilities because like, if you can get the players with Born Leader to score goals... You can have that line out even longer. Like, I could have... Realistically, if I got, like, Born Leader on, like, McDavid and Larkin, and they were scoring goals back and forth, like, I could just have that line on the ice the entire game. Oh, that one bounces off Ottinger and goes back to line A. I was trying to block the pass there. Unfortunately, it is 1-1. He gets the goal with close quarters. Draws me to McKinnon, and we get that goal right back off the face-off. A nice little passing play, and we have the lead yet again. Oh, no. Now Matthews is in. Great poke by Makar. Otherwise, it's a 2-2 game. Let's go the other way here. Speaking of Makar, he has the puck, brings it in. We'll stop up. See if we can send that across to somebody. Force that through. It's not going to happen. Five seconds to go in the period. Let's just dump this puck and take the one-goal lead into the second I'm very happy with that so far. After the first period, here are your stats. He has the lead in TOA, but like one of the players just keeps going for reps. So I'm not really concerned about TOA here. Here's the guy's team. Looks pretty damn good. Obviously, everyone here in Division 1 and High uh, Division are going to have crazy good teams. And yeah, this is another one of the better teams in the game. So got to be careful. Don't see many team builders, which is kind of nice. I recently just made Yager as I'm working towards getting Uwe Krupp. So hopefully I can get that done soon. His goalie is 92 Markstrom. Second period underway. Let's get another goal here. I'm not super concerned with like scoring five, which is like the ultimate goal in Rivals. You just want to score five goals. Really winning doesn't really matter. You score five goals, you get max points. But if I can get the W here and hang on to Larkin, I will be so damn happy. And here comes Connor McDavid. Lemieux down the other side. Not going to have room to pass it to him. McDavid gets it back here. To Larkin back to McDavid. Trying to get somebody open far side, but this guy's playing an interesting style of defense. Oh, we got McDavid at the far side. I couldn't get it to him. I wanted to spin with Larkin. Oh, that sucks. Go, Crosby. Split that D. Little toe drag scores. Three to one, Sidney Crosby. My favorite card in the game. He has been my favorite card since day one of this year, and it continues. He's just so damn good. Three to one. Oh, man, lining at close quarters again. Trying to block that pass, trying to stop that, but that's going to go in every time when you have somebody with close quarters. I got to make sure to stop him from shooting the puck in general. It's 3-2. Oh, no. 
Mitch Marner ties it just like that. We were up by two like a minute ago. It's a 3-3 game. Marner on the cross crease. Nice pass there by Matthews. All right, that'll do it for the period. 3-3 after two. Hopefully we can get the lead here in the third. Here are your stats. Again, I'm not concerned with the TOA considering the type of game this guy plays. That being said, I have three goals on four shots. I got to start getting some more offense going. Larkin out in front. Shoot saved by Markstrom. That's a good save. The shots are really dangerous. High opportunity chance and unfortunately couldn't get it by him. Larkin in again on the forehand scores. Dylan Larkin. I love this guy. I need to keep this card, man. Let's, let's just hang on to this lead, please. Here comes Line A. Already has two goals. He shoots, saved by Ottinger. That one was a little bit too far out for uh, close quarters to activate. And we get lucky there that Line A doesn't snipe one. Here comes Yager the other way on the forehand scores. I think all of my goals have been on the rush. And we have a two goal lead again here in the third period. Less than six to play, two goal lead. Larkin has a couple. Yager gets his first as a member of my team. Big save there by Ottinger. We're looking good. And here comes McDavid. Larkin with him. McDavid holds on to it. That was a good D play because I was going to look for Larkin to get the hat trick. I thought it would have been uh, a nice little storyline. He read that pretty well. What can I say? Less than a minute to go. Here comes Lad. Nice poke by Cider. And he's going to get the puck from that too. Perfect. There's Larkin. See if we can get him the hat trick here. Why not? And he is in. Larkin on the forehand. He can't get it to go. Oh, man. That would have been beautiful. Larkin with the steal. And let's just settle it down and get a line change going. The boys are tired out there. Less Larkin gives up that puck. Oh, no. And Iserman gets a stick on it at the last second. Otherwise, it's a one-goal game. Here comes Marco Casper, the future center at Detroit. He can get that one to go. Larkin stays on the ice for some reason. I guess he really wants a chance at the hat trick, but like he's been out there for a while. I don't think it's going to matter. We're going to get the win here. So there's only 10 seconds to go. And we have five goals. Max points. Let's go. This is a great game for us. Casper to Larkin, and he gets robbed by Markstrom. Last shot opportunity. It is what it is. And we get the win and hang on to Larkin here on the team. Big W here, 950 points. We're officially over 5K. We gain nine points for the victory. Thank you. And here are your final stats as we did end up dominating that third period, which is great. We ended up putting a bunch of shots on. We win the game by two. And Dylan Larkin stays a member of the squad. Well, guys, the win wasn't pretty, but we got it done. Dylan Larkin stays. I know you guys have to let me know down below who you want to see on the line in the next win or bin. For now, that's going to do it for this episode. Guys, thanks for watching. Have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video here on the channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like on the video, all that crap. And I'll see you tomorrow with another vid. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay frosty.